All right, so it took me a couple days, but we were finally able to clear all the new extreme super bad road stages and collect all the medals to fully extreme Z awaken this int LR Goku. So in today's video, we're gonna find out just how good this guy is both individually, but also as a combo with the original super bad road LR, the Fizz LR Kid Gohan. Now, before we get into the showcase, I wanna quickly Go over the details for this Goku after his Extreme Z Awakening, so if you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute, okay? So starting with his leader skill, it's all types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. He is definitely one of the most versatile leaders in the entire game, and he's going to be a good leader for basically any event like uh, World Tournament, Battlefield, and so on and so forth. His 12 key super causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And his 18 key super causes mega colossal damage and raises super class allies key plus, or sorry, no, super class allies attack and defense plus 30% for one turn. And then his passive is attack and defense plus 59%, super class allies key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, which is about 30% plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% for super class allies when HP is 59% or less, and then key plus 3, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 59% when there is an ally whose name includes Gohan Kid attacking in the same turn. So the reason this guy and the Gohan are so good as a duo, as a you know pair, is because number one, they share five links with each other, and number two, they can help activate their full passives for both of them, right? So for the Gohan, he needs a Goku on rotation to get 58% damage reduction. So between the two, the Gohan is definitely going to be the much tankier unit, whereas the Goku has that dodge chance and also uh, is obviously a great support unit. So we're on Goku's family Super Battery right now. And uh, if I remember correctly, these guys still hit very hard. So even though we have some decent defense going here, 91,546 is not bad. It's not bad, but it's not going to hold up in Super Battle Road. So we're going to start by popping an Icarus, get that 35% damage reduction. I'm still a little bit worried, honestly, because that's how many, like five attacks? That is six attacks, actually, in the first slot. So... I'm praying that Goku dodges at least two of them, because otherwise it could get pretty ugly. Uh, let's try to stun. We can't stun unless we do an 18 key or 12 key super, but I want to see an 18 key super. So yeah, we're going to do the 18 key super. Let's attack King Vegeta. And then obviously with Gohan, same thing. We're going to target King Vegeta. And then I guess we'll keep attacking him. Let's try to kill him this turn. Okay, here we go. Here we go. No dodge there. Getting supered. Okay. Um, that was kind of rough. That was kind of rough. We did get actually a decent amount of dodges, guys. We got a decent amount of dodges. And then, of course, after he supers, he does get a little bit more defense. So... We took significantly less damage than, uh, you know, the first couple of attacks. But, wow, I was not expecting to take that much damage. Did I use an Icarus? Did I, did I pop an Icarus? Because with that damage, I'm not really sure. I think I saw the animation, but now, like, I can't, I can't say it for sure. Let me see. Okay, we definitely used it. I had two to start, so we definitely... Use the Icarus. But wow, that was... That was kind of crazy. Alright, um, so we're going to pop a Princess Snake. Let's heal back up. <laughs> a little bit unexpected on the first turn. And then uh, I think we can put the Raditz there for the damage reduction. And we can definitely stun the Kid Vegeta. Yep. And then let's try to kill King Vegeta here. And uh, yeah, we're good to go on this turn. I'm not feeling, you know, too bad about the Super Saiyan 4 Gokus and the Raditz. I know the Raditz can 
you know, be very tanky, so it's not a big deal. But damn, I did not think uh, Goku was going to take that much damage. I mean, to be fair, I, I, I should have expected it, I guess, because, you know, he doesn't have that much defense. Uh, and it figures that, you know, with any unit that can dodge, they'll always dodge some normals, but they'll never dodge a super, man. Definitely not a super. I know it says including super attacks, but... I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm crazy, but I'm sure you guys can vouch for this. It kind of feels like... Yo, they always dodge the normal attacks and don't dodge the supers. But... It's cool. Okay, we, we stunned uh, the kid, Vegeta. So let's go for Goku here. We don't have to worry about his defense at all on this turn. And... I think we can probably finish off... The kid Vegeta right now. So 1.5 million attacks that. And as you can see, additional nice crit on the first super. It should also be a crit. There we go. So lots of crits because of course we have the kid Goku. Or sorry, the kid Gohan on rotation. So he's getting the 59% additional crit chance on top of what his hidden potential has. Let me see. Uh, I gave him 9. Okay, I gave him 9 crit, so that's 18%. So with the Kid Gohan, he should have approximately like almost 70% chance to crit every single every single turn. Which of course helps with his damage, and that's something he does need a lot of help with. Because obviously, um, he's not that... What's the word? He doesn't hit that hard, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, he doesn't hit that hard, so the crit chance definitely um, helps a lot with his damage output. Alright, so now we're going to go for Vegeta. Um, let's just keep going for Vegeta. And then I'm going to try to stun Trunks. Actually, not try. It's a guaranteed chance, right? If you're facing two or more enemies. So we're going to stun the Trunks here. And... Uh, you know, just keep getting through this this showcase. Usually, I like to do these show, do these showcases for, um, you know, on like the longer events, like if they're Dragon Ball History or Legendary Goku events. But every once in a while, I do think it's more fun to change it up and do one of these Super Battle showcases. And when I looked at the kit for this Goku, I kind of felt like he was pretty actually actually like pretty well suited for Super Battle Road, but I wasn't really expecting him to take this much damage. <laughs> To be completely honest, I would probably give him a level 5 defense orb, like bronze orb, just to ensure that he doesn't, you know, take as much damage. I mean, it's not going to help that much, but it will help a little bit. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably what I'm going to do after this. But, you know, as I said, his main role, his job, is not really to be a tank. Right, they would have given him damage reduction if he was supposed to be a tank. So I can't really fault him too much. And at the very least, I do like how much crit chance he gets if you have that kid Gohan on your team. And uh, these two paired up together is, is just such a great combination that I'll probably only run them together. Like if I plan to run one of them, I'll probably bring the other one too. And uh, yeah, they're, they're a good combo. Obviously, that was on purpose because they are both the uh, Super Bad Road LRs. And I'm really looking forward to uh, the Extreme Z Awakening for... What was the other one? Uh, Bulma and Goku. The Bulma and Goku one should be very good as well. Uh, ooh, Trunks is stun again. Nice. Getting lots of stuns. Uh, one other thing about that pairing is they both have that chance to stun, right? So it's Super Bad Road. If you get decently lucky and you have like some additionals on both of them as well, which you should, then you'll probably at least be able to stun one enemy consistently every single time you have them together on that rotation. So uh, that's also been, been pretty good. I'm still like kind of shook though. Like I'm still kind of thinking about just how much damage we took, man, on that first turn with the Icarus. If it was without an Icarus, I'd be like, okay, that's fine. You know, like, it's super bad road, but that was with an Icarus active too and everything. Wow. Okay, so we're going to pop the Whis here. Let's see how this goes. Um, Maybe I should put Gohan here. 
I should probably put Gohan there. Okay, we're gonna put Gohan there. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go for Vegeta. And if we get lucky, we can actually stun both these guys. And then if we don't get lucky, I can't super with uh, Raditz. Maybe it, he'll get an additional, possibly. Uh, Alright, let's just give him two orbs. Okay, here we go. So as you guys can see, the kid, Gohan, extremely tanky. 58% damage reduction is no joke. And he's going to be essentially taking, you know, like no damage as long as... You have him with a Goku. Um, even without a Goku, though, you know, actually, no, you, you need that Goku. If you, if you don't have a Goku, his defense is very bad. Uh, I've used him by himself without Gokus, and you just don't want to have him in Super Battle Road in that case. But if you have a Goku with him, he's extremely tanky. And, uh, you know, this Goku here, not doing a lot of damage, but getting crits consistently, which is still nice to see. Um,. Oh, I forgot, yo, I forgot that Raditz actually can stun with his passive too. Right, yeah, it's not just his super attack, it, his passive, you, you, like if you just do a normal attack, you can still stun, I forgot about that. But it's only for one turn though, so he's not stunned anymore. But yeah, no, I just completely forgot that he could do that. That's cool, okay. So now we're gonna go back to, let's see. Uh, we have Icarus activated, or Whis activated actually, so these guys should hold up okay. Let's go for Vegeta. Um, yeah, I mean, just makes sense to go for Vegeta all the way here. <laughs> oh. Whoa, okay. I might have made a bit of a mistake um i just realized realized my super saiyan 4 goku at the end is not attacking and uh that guy cannot tank without a super so if we die at this point in the showcase i'm gonna be so pissed man i'm gonna be so pissed if we die oh thank god okay we're good <laughs> That additional saved us. <laughs> that additional super saved us so much. Because, yeah, he, he he does not get defense, right? Without the super. And this would have been so bad. This would have been, like, the end of us if we had taken the super without supering first. We're good, though. Ooh, okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Below 59% HP. Right? Below 59%. And, or 58% for Gohan. And uh, Goku is going to be getting that additional support, that 20% on his passive for Super Class Allies. So, I could try to go for the stun actually on, on Gohan here. And, uh, you know, worst comes to worst, the tech Gohan at the end will still be able to, you know, do some good tanking for us. So, it's not a huge deal. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I'm not using any items. Let's see what happens. 31, 68, 4.2 mil. This should be enough to kill Vegeta. Should be. Definitely should be. Ooh, no additional. Damn it. Ooh, okay. Goku 1.6. Doesn't get the stun. Additional. All right. Got the dodge though. That was clutch. That was a clutch. That was a clutch. Uh, clutch dodge right there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Pretty much what I expected. Some very, very good tanking right there. And now let's try to finish off one of these guys. Let's finish off Vegeta with our active skill, and then we're gonna stun the Goku, and then or sorry, Trunks, and then uh, I'm getting my names all mixed up today. Um, stun the Trunks. But we're gonna try to keep him alive. Yeah, I'm gonna try to not super keep him alive so that we can have one more turn with the uh, father son rotation after this. Uh, this is probably the worst we can do. Yeah. Okay.
you know what I just realized? I messed up big time. I messed up big time. I, I should have given a super to Raditz to get the stun. Oh, okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> Goku is gonna additional, it's over. Um, no, like for a second I was like, oh crap, we're gonna die, aren't we? I made a big mistake, because Raditz only gets that guaranteed stun if you're facing two or more enemies, so we needed the super to stun. It's all good though. Mistakes were made, I just woke up. Okay, don't uh, hold it against me too much, but that is your showcase, guys, for the super battle of Goku. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. I think overall, um, you know, he's a very good support. We gotta give him that. And if you view him as mostly a good support unit, then he's great at what he does. Um, his defense definitely leaves a lot to be desired, okay? You can't really rely on his defense or his dodging. Like, every once in a while, he'll come, come in clutch, and he'll save you with a very clutch dodge. But it's not something that you can really depend on too consistently. And um, in terms of offense, if you have him with the Gohan, he can give you some decent damage numbers, but it's not anything crazy. Uh, it's definitely, you know, it's just like okay damage, right? Like 2 mil, 2 to 3 mil for his 12k super, 18k super, or, or sorry, 2 to 3 mil for his 18k super, and then for his 12k super, probably like 1.5 to 2 in that range. If you have a support, he can definitely put out more, but obviously for Super Battle Road, I don't want to bring any extra supports just because I don't want to die, right? So uh, there you go. That's the showcase. I think solid Extreme Z Awakening doesn't blow me away. Not like broken by any means. And between him and the Gohan, I think together the Gohan actually impresses me more. Impresses me more because of his damage reduction and his damage output actually is seems to be at least a little bit higher than, than Goku as well. Um, so overall, yeah, I would still take this kid Gohan over the Goku, although the Goku is more versatile. You know, you can use him on more teams as a good support, whereas this Gohan, you kind of need that Goku to really get the most out of him. So, uh, I, I guess the point I'm trying to make is they're both good for different situations for different teams, depending on what you need them for. And I love running them together. They make a great combination. So there you have it, guys. That is today's showcase. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.